Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. What if I told you you could have pizza for breakfast yes. without the yes. dough? Chef John McCormack is here. Oh, He's yeah. in the house. Thank you for being Good here. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Glad to be back. Absolutely. When you told me doughless pizza, I thought, mm -hmm. no way. You got to have dough for the pizza. Well, I've uh, been Does busy it, this that, last isn't year. Isn't that what, make, exactly what right. makes but the pizza? But so many people get, are missing out because either they're allergic or they're losing weight or too many carbs or they eat a lot healthier than, uh, these, these days. days. Sure. So uh, what I found is a few restaurants here kind of getting on the, uh, uh, the bandwagon. One named Cassava's and kind of took their recipe and uh, did it with some good friends at Cisco the other day. So, so what, what do we use in place of that? We're going to use in place dough. of that, we're going to use Philadelphia cream cheese okay. and two eggs. That's basically your dough. What you want to do is, uh, for the sake of not mixing it up right now, take a hand mixer, get you some spice. I have used a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, a little black pepper, throw it in there, mix it up, a little uh -huh. oregano. Uh, really, so whatever you Philadelphia want it to taste like. Philadelphia cream cheese and two eggs. That's your dough. That's it. But make sure you mix it well. So when you do put it on your uh, on your sheet pan, it will rise a little bit. Okay, you're gonna rise up. And when it comes out, it does look like this. So it's kind of not the prettiest, oh. but it is doughless and it's kind of eggy, but it rises a little bit. That looks like the pizza I try to make. Exactly. See, so yeah, I don't feel do so bad. Let us do its thing. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of going to drop like a, like a mud patty. So just let it go. Okay. And it's going to do its thing. But let's so talk about you, toppings. Once toppings. you bake that, you do the toppings? Yeah, you're going to do your toppings. The sky's the limit on pizza. This is a breakfast pizza. Okay. Uh, so let's stay in the breakfast kind of, uh, in the breakfast uh, so, food category. So I see you have bell peppers here. You're putting the egg inside. I'm putting the egg just because it looks really, really nice. That looks really so, pretty. I would never have thought of that. That and then some of my favorites in the morning, of course, a little pico de gallo, a little mm. tomato, onion, a little cilantro as well. Oh, it's smelling uh, so good in here. So put that in there, let it do its thing a little bit. And when it comes out, well, you, you see, you saw the plain crust. But what you want to do is put your, put it back in the oven, add your mozzarella cheese, your favorite cheese, buffalo uh, mozz or shredded mozz or whatever you have. And from the oven here, it's very hot. So Ooh. we're going to go ahead and okay. we're going to build one of these, okay? Very nice. So now remember, you can do whatever you'd like because it's your pizza, your way, and how you want to do it. But with the cheese, it looks very nice and it serves really nice. Oh, maybe so, personalized pizzas for everyone. There you go. So do what you do what you feel that you know is going to work best for your diet. You know. I and love it. So season a little bit. Cook your uh, cook your toppings ahead because it's not going to go back in the oven. You can go back in the oven if you want to melt the cheese a little bit more. That's fine. But uh, remember, it's already cooked. So everything that you do that's going to go on it is that needs to be cooked should be cooked ahead of time. Now, do you just put these on the pizza hole like that? Just put them on the pizza hole like that, so it's going to look really nice. You are my hero, Chef John McCormack. So, throw some uh, mushrooms in there as okay. well. Okay. Let them come up a little bit. So remember, Cheese, this basil. is doughless, so this doughless. is great for maybe diabetics or people that are watching their weight. Exactly. And a lot of restaurants are starting to, uh, to cook that way, so you'll find, find a lot of more California-style things on the menu mm -hmm. than you have in the past. I noticed you have some of this Fiesta seasoning. This is the Fiesta, kind... Fiesta, my guys, yes. This yes. is the kind that I use. Sugar and cinnamon, though? Yeah, I have a little something sweet every, every morning for breakfast. Ah. Just a little bit. Can you put that so, on the pizza as well? Sure. Okay. And there I've got all of the great spices from Fiesta, the onion powder and the garlic powder. Okay. But they've, uh, they've uh, put us here many, many times. And now, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I was let's born go ready. Were you born ready? There you go. Let's Look at make that. It, make it look nice. So you essentially are just, you're not cooking it into the pizza, you're just no, putting it on top of the pizza. We're just going to go ahead and make it look nice. Give it some color. Put your favorite toppings on, like I said. So this is what I like in the morning. So it's kind of Italian flavor, just a little bit, because I'm going to add fresh basil. Yeah. Now, how really, many really servings nice. is this particular pizza? That one right there is good for, that's, you can get four slices out of that. Okay, yeah, that should be, that's not for one person, guys. We All need right, to clarify. Keep it in the breakfast color and theme. Put some fried eggs on it like that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and top it with some chopped bacon. That looks delicious. What do you so, guys think? What a unique pizza. And then there you go. You serve it with your favorite salsa. So it's really, really pretty. Chef it's John nice McCormack, you always, always have such good recipes. Don't forget, guys, you can get this on foxsanantonio.com, yes. the recipe, yes. right? And how can we get a hold of you? Well, I'm going to be at a restaurant called Cassava's. It's a brand new restaurant in town. It's at 1604 and 281. These guys are doing some amazing food. This, this fresh cooking uh, is coming our way. It's not really in San Antonio yet. It's hit Austin. Uh -huh. But the wave of fresh, 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 even at a 24-hour drive through you'll be able to get some fantastic items. Okay. So come join us. We'll be open very, very soon and look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you so much, sir.